my name is Breen Smith, and on my last episode of Bow Chronicles, it was episode seven, I spoke about um, how to obtain a complete pass-through if you're archery hunting, which is always important because if you have an entrance and an exit hole, your blood trail is always going to be better, and you will never break an arrow. Um, as I spoke about that, one of the elements was having an FOC, which is, means forward of center, um, of at least 20. And, but I'm going to wait until the end of the video and I'll share that with you, how to calculate that. But now I'm going on a hunt and the hunt will take place in Texas. Hopefully I'll have something to show for it. Well, I'm in Texas with my guide. His name is Jazz. Jazz, what's your last name? Elsie. Elsie. I'm going on a mouflon hunt. Never been on one before. Hoping to get one to do a full body mount for my taxidermy studio. Well, I just shot a, a nice um, move line, and it was a fun spot and stalk. Um, my shot was as good as I could do it. The front end was behind a tree, so he couldn't see me when I leaned out from behind the tree to take my shot. And it's, it looked like he was slightly quartering away, so even though the shot was a little far back, I think it quartered through the, the vitals. I know he bled really fast, so 
we give it, giving him a few minutes to, to expire. Now we're gonna go see if we can find him. I see some blood already. Good blood. Wow. We still up. Is that where he died? Yep. Boy, he's a good one, isn't he? He's beautiful. Look at those horns. Boy, I, we didn't discuss our cost for removal out of a gully. <laughs> Okay, I'm back with you now. My name is Breen Smith with Bow Chronicles and I'm the owner of Full Draw Taxidermy. And I had a successful hunt. I got me a, a nice 34 inch ram. And I plan on doing a full body mount for my studio. So I'm pretty, pretty pumped, pretty excited about that. And, uh, but now let me share with you how to calculate your FOC. FOC means forward of center. And I brought one of my arrows here. Forward of center means you want most of your weight at the front of your broadhead, and that's important because if it's not, you're going to lose a lot of energy when you shoot your arrow. The reason why you lose energy with a low FOC is because not only is it almost impossible to have a bow that's perfectly tuned, but when your arm is at full extension <clears throat> and you release an arrow, your arm that's extended is going to move a little bit. It may only move a quarter of an inch or a half an inch, and it will do it consistently. What that causes is, is for your arrow to wobble a little bit, but it corrects itself because of the fletchings. <clears throat> but if, if you have a low FOC, meaning your arrow is fairly well balanced, it's gonna wobble a lot longer, and that means a lot of energy loss. A high FOC, means your arrow will fly like a rock with a string tied behind it. When you launch that arrow, if you have a high, high FOC, even though your arm will move slightly, it will correct itself so quickly that you lose very little energy. And that's the key component to obtaining a complete pass-through. A couple of other things that are really important too, but you can catch those on my last episode.
But how to calculate FOC. The way you do it, and you may know your arrow length already, I shoot a 30 inch arrow. In fact, and by the way, this is the arrow I shot uh, the ram with, and I washed it off. But um, it hit, hit some bone, and I'm almost tore the fletching off. But I got a complete pass through. So the first thing you need to know though is your arrow length. I shoot a 30 inch arrow. That's measured from the bottom of the knock. That's the bottom of the the hole there where the string rests all the way to the end of the actual arrow, not the broadhead. I know I shoot a 30 inch and so you want to mark the halfway point. The halfway point for me is exactly 15 inches from the bottom of the knock. I've marked 15 inches already. But the next thing you want to do is you want to get the balance point. And I've already done this. And I actually used a, um, an Allen wrench. Because it's narrow, it gives me a small flat surface. And so I got my balance point for my arrow and I marked that, a little thin piece of white tape. I measured the, the difference between those two and it was six and three quarter inches. So the difference is what you want. So with your halfway point and your balance point, you measure the difference, I got six and three quarter inches. So you multiply that times 100, that gave me 675. And you multiply that, excuse me, you divide that by your, the length of your arrow. And I get an FOC of 22.5. That allows for a really good penetration. Now I have shot arrows that were much less before I understood the importance of FOC. I shot uh, a black bear. It was a nice size black bear. I hit it in the shoulder bone, the arrow fell out, the bear disappeared, and it didn't hurt the bear. And I, it was very disappointing. And, and I have also noticed I have lost some deer in the past. But even when I did get some penetration, often my arrow would break. Even if I found the deer, the arrow would be broken because the arrow didn't pass all the way through. So getting a complete pass through will save you money on arrows. And it will save you from losing animals because it will make a big difference in, in how they expire. And quick is always better. Anyway, I hope this will save you some heartache that I've experienced in, in, in the past, and um, thank you for your time.